Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, it's quite an emotional morning. This is our first tentative steps back into celebrating masses and sacraments and these liturgies of the word inside the church. Uh, we've been having to make use of the presbytery, a uh, little chapel set up upstairs in the presbytery uh, priest quarters. Uh, that won't be decommissioned as yet. There will be a couple of occasions where we'll still need uh, to use it. But I thought this morning we'd have our liturgy of the word uh, back in St. Mary Magdalene Church uh, this morning. So my dear children, the gospel for this Sunday speaks of planting a seed. Uh, which needs to be planted into rich soil so that it can put down roots, so it may flourish and bear much fruit. Today we pray that we may hear the word of God speaking to us. Let's listen attentively to it and respond with a generous heart. Uh, it's been said that we have two ears and one mouth. Uh, so perhaps we should always be looking to do twice as much listening as we do speaking. Finding time for silence is important if we are going to hear the call of the Lord in our life. So sometime today, let's all find some time to unplug, to let the Lord into our minds and hearts. And so for the times we have not listened to the word of God, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honour. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. So we uh, take the readings, as we always do, from the children's lectionary in the Liturgy of the Word for Children from the Blue Lectionary, Sundays in Year A. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Our God says, When the rain and snow come down from heaven, they water the earth, so that things will grow and people will have bread. My word is like that. When I speak, my word goes out from me and it does what I send it to do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is open our hearts to listen to you. Open our hearts to listen to you. God, your word is sent by you. Open our hearts to listen to you. God, your word is always true. Open our hearts to listen to you. God, your word will bring us joy. Open our hearts to listen to you. 
God, your word shows us the way. Open our hearts to listen to you. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Listen with your heart, listen to the good news. Hear what God is saying to you and to me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One day Jesus was sitting by the sea, and a large crowd of people gathered round him. He used parables to teach them many things. This is one of the parables he told them. There was once a person who went out to plant some seeds. Some of the seeds fell beside the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Some seeds fell on the ground where there were lots of rocks. The seeds grew up fast, but since there wasn't much dirt around them, the roots didn't grow very deep. And when the sun got too hot, the seeds dried up and died. And some seeds fell in a patch of thorns. The thorns grew around them, and the seeds didn't have enough room to grow, so they also died. But some of the seeds fell on good soil, and when the grain grew up, it was thirty or sixty or a hundred times as much as the farmer had planted. Anyone who has ears, listen to what I am really saying. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Seven years ago, I completed my time at St John's Seminary at Wanish, uh, near Guildford in Surrey. Uh, and I was ordained a priest of Jesus Christ. Uh, yesterday, in Arundel Cathedral, Thomas Kent was ordained as a new priest for our diocese. The word seminary means seed bed. It's the place where a seed is nourished as the man offering himself a priesthood is given space to discern and be formed for service of God's people. The seed is planted from a very early age. Some would say, even before we are born. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and consecrated you, says the Lord, and appointed you to be my messenger to the nations. The family is the first seedbed, the place where we are introduced to all those wonderful Bible stories that I know you know so well, and also the place where we learn to say our daily prayers. The second seedbed are our schools, where we learn to ask more in-depth questions and get to know God's commandments in more depth. In time, we must figure out what Jesus is asking of us. We already know that he says, follow me, but in what capacity? How are we to do it? We have explored previously we might be called to the religious life or to marriage, or like Thomas Kent and myself, to the sacred priesthood of Jesus Christ. We are asked to preach the word of God so that new seeds may be planted in our communities. We are asked to nourish that seed with the sacraments of the church, especially by celebrating the banquet of the Holy Mass, fulfilling the command of Jesus Christ, do this in memory of me. 
so that we may never forget that the Lord laid down his life so that we may have life and have it in abundance. However you are going to respond to the word of God is yet to be determined. But responding proves fruitful. 30, 60, or even 100 times. That is a lot of grace. Well, we say our prayers together. So dear brothers and sisters, the word proceeds from the mouth of God, does not return to him empty. And so we pray. And we pray for the church of God, that we're going to go and announce that gospel uh, with great humility and courage and passion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we're going to pray for our own parish, that we may have a culture of serving, of service of God, his church and his holy people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we're going to pray for Father Thomas Kent, newly ordained as a priest for our diocese. Uh, may he provide uh, our diocese, the church, with many years of fruitful service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for the NHS staff, the care and key workers. May they show us the compassion of the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue, of course, to pray for the sick, the housebound, those self-isolating. May they always know that they are in our thoughts, minds and prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the faithful departed, those who have died, those with anniversaries at this time. May they now inherit eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we turn to our parish patron, Our Lady of the Rosary, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Loving Father, we are making our souls a rich soil for your grace. And so we ask you to hear and answer our prayers. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. As I kneel before you, as I bow my head in prayer, take this day, make it yours, and fill me Yeah. Uh...
So today, the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, uh, I'm going to live stream Mass from this sacred altar here in St. Mary Magdalene at 10 a.m. Uh, that's a Facebook Live Mass only, and then we'll upload it to YouTube. Uh, from 6 p.m. this evening, we have our first public Mass. Uh, we have capacity in the church for 55 people. Uh, I know that's not a lot, comparing when we normally can get 250 in here, but it's a start, it's a moving forward. Uh, please do see the parish newsletter uh, for the list of masses. Pay particular note to whether it's a public mass for 55 people, whether it's a Facebook Live only mass, or whether it's a private mass, uh, because there'll be a whole range of masses that we'll be saying uh, to deal with all those wonderful mass intentions that you've asked us to pray for. Uh, and we're taking our very first slow tentative steps and we'll keep adding and adding until we get uh, the life of the community back up and running. But until then, may God continue to bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon you and always keep you in his love.